All right, so uh, this picture on the right here, this is Stanley Goff, uh, main character, one of two main characters of, of our book, Brothers. Um, he's originally from Texas, moved to San Francisco right before he got drafted, uh, which was in 1968, was inducted in the Army in 1968, and then flew over to Vietnam in 1968. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to skip over the, the basic and, and advanced individual training stuff. Uh, I'll note that, that Stan and Bob, they met in, they met in basic, and that's how their, their uh, relationship started. But it's not super essential to Stan's individual story. Um, so skipping over the, the boonies in Vietnam, uh, first few weeks of Stan being out there, uh, he ends up becoming the company machine gunner, one of a few company machine gunners. Uh, this machine gun was the M60, and it was considered to be the, the heavy firepower of the group, or, or of, of the company, and uh, it was more commonly referred to as the pig. Uh, and, and Stan had one firefight with it pretty recent after after getting it, and uh, started to be a little bit more gung-ho about, about being in Vietnam, and he was very prideful of, of carrying that 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 weapon um a little bit further into vietnam uh, i think it was two months uh, of stan being out in the boonies um there was a pretty major offensive uh stan was was personally responsible for killing uh 30 north vietnamese with the pig and uh those actions led to him being recommended for the distinguished service cross um and those actions eventually led to him getting shipped out of the boonies uh, back onto a base known as LZ Baldy. Uh, and on that base, Stan, he was a mu musician in high school, so uh, he was sent out under the premise that he was going to be a bugle player, interestingly enough. Um, it was kind of a secretive thing. Uh, so Stan bounced around a few bases from there. Uh, eventually serving at the at the colonel's uh, mess hall and, and also playing uh, the trumpet, actually. He ended up playing the trumpet. And uh, when the time came that, that Stan was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross, uh, he was able to get home, and uh, that's where he left the Army. 